Now history is again being made at the World Table Tennis Championships in Houston. For the first time, the United States and China have formed joint doubles teams and nod to the 50th anniversary of ping pong diplomacy. And CGTN's Tony Waterman had the chance to speak to Yanis Burke, the Houston Sports Authority CEO. I think we underestimate how important that anniversary really, really is and was. Um, at the time, it made global news. It was kind of unheard of. And here through sports, these friendships were formed. And there was a message of peace um, through sports that really has permeated all over the world in every sport now. And um, even the Olympic movement, you know, has a peace through sports uh, initiative. So I think it's, it's, it's very important. And you talk to our local Chinese community and they will say, Janice, I wouldn't be living here in Houston, Texas right now if ping pong diplomacy hadn't happened. So for them, it's, it's very important and memorable as it should be to all of us. Is it blown past your expectations? Because not only is this the first time that the event is being held here in the United States, but it's the first time that you guys are hosting a table tennis tournament. Yeah, first time in the Americas. How exciting and to be right here in Houston. And I think we are a little uh, blown away with the, just how popular and how excited and the passion um, that, that our community is feeling around this has been really great. We have hundreds of volunteer shifts that have been filled by our local community, um, and then 23,000 um, tickets sold, so we're really excited. You have this perfect storm of a global pandemic, of supply chains being all gummed up at this point, requirements to get into the country that normally would never be there. What are some of those unique challenges that you guys have been facing, that some of the teams coming in have been facing? We've done a lot of big events, as you know. Um, it's probably the most challenging event we've ever worked on um, because of the international aspect of it. We have over 90 countries participating, which we feel really good about that, considering all of the challenges with visas, with the ma you know having the right vaccine to get into our country, embassies being shut down around the world, and trying to have to fly teams for personal interviews that need visas to another country. Um, so we've been working for months behind the scenes. I mean, challenging times. So uh, just think about the equipment that we have to ship in. Um, some of it was from China, and we've been working on getting that shipment since August. And here we are down to the wire. So every aspect of it has been more challenging than normal. What's the significance of this for Houston and for you personally? There's a lot of things right now, as you know, um, politically that are challenging. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of angst, people pent up um, frustration. And so for me, um, being able to pull this off in such a challenging time, to be able to do a world championship that no one thought could happen, and to bring 90 countries in um, during a pandemic is really special and I think important for our community to show we are this international community that's very accepting of one another and of all cultures. We're very welcoming and to be able to pull it off in a great way and leave a legacy I think is really important.